Hey there everybody and welcome. It's Jackie here from StampingJack.com. It is Wednesday the 22nd of December and it is three days to Christmas. Um, and of course it's also Facebook Live. So I've got some fun projects lined up for you um, this evening. I had a bit of a debate with myself. Shall I do Christmas stuff or should I not? And I thought, well, it's the 22nd of December. Um, if we haven't got our Christmas stuff done by now, realistically, it's not going to get done, is it? Um, but if you want some last minute inspiration for Christmas, then let me know and I'll see what I can rustle together. But um, uh, what I thought I'd do is last week I went through my um, unboxing of my pre-order for the uh, new mini catalogue that's coming out in January. Um, and I had some fun playing with some of the stuff, so I thought I'd just keep going. Hi Diane, hi Lynn, good to have you with us. Um, let me just double check that we're live in the right places. Rupert, can you do me a favour? Yeah. Would you go downstairs and grab me my glasses, please? Thank you. Right. So how are we all? Are we all ready? Have we got all our cards made? Our presents wrapped? Are everything ready? Hi, Doreen. I'm having trouble reading your comments at the minute because I don't have my glasses. Um, so hopefully in a minute I'll be able to read you properly. Uh, but let me just check that we're all good to go. Seems to be. Right. There we are. Thank you for sharing, Lynn. Thank you, Doreen. So yes, if you're watching this on Facebook, then please do share the video. If you're watching the replay on YouTube, then give me a thumbs up or a like. That would be really, really good. So as I said, my plan for tonight is to um, continue playing with some of my favourites from the new mini catalogue, which is coming out in January. Um, but if any of you would like some last minute, desperate, super quick, super easy Christmas card inspiration, then let me know and I'll see what I can rustle up a little bit later because I've had to do a couple of last minute things here. Um, as usual, I run out of time when it come, by the time it gets to Christmas. Hi, Sue. Welcome. Thank you. So, first of all, let me just remind you of the cards that we made last week. So as I say, these were made using things from the new mini catalog. So I should be sending these. These arrived yesterday. Um, I don't know that I'm going to get to them before Christmas, um, but as soon as I'm back in the new year, I'm going to Ireland. So as soon as I'm back in the new year, I will pop them in the post to you all. So you should have them. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is just to say continue playing with some of the stuff that we did last week. So, uh, so let's see. So first of all, this card what I made that I made last week using the slim card dies um, left me with a lot of scraps. So I thought I would use up. So these are. So it left me with lots of these scraps because I cut three of these frames like that and then re relayed or inlaid the dies. So, Ooh. okay, am I back? I got a message saying I was offline for a second, so. Hopefully I'm back now. Hi Sue, welcome. Diane, you haven't got one yet. Um, it may be because you haven't placed an order. Yes, if I think about it, I haven't received my, normally as a demonstrator, you receive your a copy anyway. Um, so, uh, mm. if you don't get one, let me know and I'll just stick one in the post to you. Not a problem. Um, so, it looks like I'm back online. Woohoo! Yay! I don't know what, quite what happened there. So, anyway, as I was saying, making this card last week, 
generated quite a few scraps and a couple of the cards tonight are using some scraps from last week so I'm being very very frugal so what I've got here and then I decided these were this is another set of dies these are also new which is the amazing thanks dies and so what they have is it says you are amazing and thanks but it's got the shadow and the details so I thought I'd use that as well so this card has no stamping on it. It's just die cutting. So we've got um, just our usual Whisper White card base and then a piece of a black. So I'm going to go for my one of my favourite colour combinations, which is black and white with a pop of colour. So let's just get our glue running. Let's see if it'll... Gave me some trouble last week, so let's see if it'll play ball for us this week. seem to be able to see the comments today as well which is good right so as I say these let's just grab these I'm just going to use these to make a chevron pattern okay so I'm just gonna get a bit of scrap paper here and in fact what I'm going to do I'm going to grab my silicon mat because we're going to attach this off the page like so okay. so we lay the first one down and we're just going to layer I love a good chevron, I don't know about you ladies Again, I'm just using the card bits that I had left over from last week, but you could just use any kind of colour scheme that you wanted. This is chevrons kind of, to my mind, lend themselves to masculine cards. Um, this colour lens, uh, colour scheme, I think, lends itself to more of a sort of a teen, tween type card. So I'm just butting them all right up against one another. Like so. Okay. I'm going to leave that for one second. And then I've die cut the thanks. So I've got the shadow. I've die cut it in black. And then I've got the white to say the detail in white so I'm just going to dot my glue here again we don't need an enormous amount okay and then we'll just add that to our black so I love this I think it's really really striking and I've been wanting for quite some time now for some nice layered sentiment dies from Stampin' Up! So I'm really glad that they've kind of gotten on the bandwagon on that one. So then I'm just going to grab my black mini dimensionals and just pop these at the back here. Go. Making sure that none of that shows through. So look at that, isn't that fab? So no point putting it on. <laughs> no point putting it on black because then you can't see it. Alright, so then for our piece here, I'm just going to grab my scissors and just trim off the edges. Like so and that gives us a cool chevron pattern down one side of our card. That up and then I'm just going to add this here. 
like so. And then we'll glue that. Whoop. Some these are our adhesive backed hexagons, so I might use these just to be a little bit different. So I think I might use the so the colours on these are I think they're mint macaron, blushing bride and black. Um, That should do it. So that is card number one. Very, very. Oh, wait. Let's. Should we actually put it on the card? Maybe that. That might work, mightn't it? <laughs> so, just got my edges here from my. I'm going to use my black dimensionals because it's a black piece. Hmm. Are you seeing me properly? I keep freezing on my computer and the resolution doesn't seem great either. Are you seeing me properly ladies? Is it my laptop or is it, is the lighting a bit rubbish tonight? Let me know and I'll see if I can adjust. Right, so that's card number one. No stamping, which is unusual for me, using the Amazing Thanks dies and the Slim Card dies. Okay, so next up, what have we got? Ah, yes, next up is using my favourite, uh, my number one pick from um, the new catalogue. So this is the Hello Beautiful stamp and die set. So... It's got these circles, a wonky circle. Some wonky. You can see I've been playing with this a lot already. So let's see if I can get these two labels. Then you've got these layering hexagons, which I love. There we go. And then another one. So you've got four of them. And then you've got a double hexagon. You've got these two halves of a hexagon two triangles and then you've got these two diamondy pieces and this is the bit that I'm going to be using so again I've got a load of scraps um, from which card last week was it cut out a load of pieces to make this card and um, so I've just got some other bits left over um, and then we've got our stamp so for the moment though what I have done save you watching me is i've die cut so i've got a black card base um, a layer of crushed curry a layer of whisper white you can see i've cut out die cut two of the big hexagons and i've cut a load of these um little um diamonds and i'm going to make a bit of a harlequin pattern with it but first i'm going to do my stamping so i'm going to use the uh this cause for a celebration Okay, and I'm going to stamp that on here using my stays on ink. So as you know, I always like to use my black or use stays on when I'm making inking up in black because you get a much darker, more opaque look. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to grab my crushed curry is here and I'm going to use uh, this image here which is like a little scribble okay. 
And this is what I love about this set, um, is that it's got all these little extra bits that just allow you to add a bit of extra interest and texture to your cards. Isn't that cool? You see that? Alrighty. Uh, I might do one at the top as well. I don't know. What do you think, ladies? Let me know what you think. Whilst I'm building my pattern, you can decide. So, I've got my piece here. And for ease, I'm going to use glue dots for this. Yep. So... Could use adhesive um, because I've got quite a few bits to put on. I thought it'd be quicker for you to if I just did it this way. Okay, so we'll just get all these on here. I just think that should do for now. If we need more, we can do it. So and start. The key thing is to make sure the glue dot comes with you. Put that there. Eyeballing this, but hopefully I've got this straight. We'll see in a second. Okay, that's about right. And then we just repeat. Do a few more. I think we want four more. Two, three, four. So any of anyone who you know who likes sort of harlequin patterns, then this is for you. Okay, there we go. So now I can see I've got a tiny little gap there. So I'm just going to trim that ever so slightly. So slightly. There we are. Okie dokie. So, I haven't got anything from you ladies yet. I don't know how much of a delay there is um, about whether you want me to add a piece of yellow to the top or not. But uh, I'm just going to assemble whilst we wait and see. inside so I'm going to I'm just going to grab a yep 
So then, I'm just going to add. Yep. And pop that inside. Go and then I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm just going to pop that up. It's a little bit crooked, but that's the challenges of doing it through a camera. I'm sure if I was actually looking at it properly, I'd be able to do it appropriately. The other thing you could do is use a ruler to make sure that you got it right. So that's card number two. Ah, Sue spotted that it's not straight. Oh, I thought I'd got away with it. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so the next card is so the next card is using two other new stamp sets. So it is the for the record and the slim saying. So this stamp set goes with these dies. You can see I used this sentiment already. But we've got this lovely big happy birthday here. Okay, so we're just going to, and then I've got a basic black base, I've got a granny apple green layer and a uh, whisper white layer. And then I've got a scrap of whisper white and then also want a piece for the inside. So I'm going to grab my basic grey ink and I'm going to need my stays on as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this happy birthday on my scrap here using stays on. Love this big happy birthday. Make sure I get good coverage. So when I've got a stamp that's bigger than my ink pad, I tend to flip it over and do it this way. You can see where you're going then. Okay. And then let's see if I can get it straight. Yep, lovely. Okay. And then we've also got this long image here. Pop that on an even bigger block. And then I'm going to take my whisper white piece and I'm going to ink this up in grey. Scrap, I'm going to be stamping off a little bit. Okay.
from this. Scrap of black here somewhere. Let me just grab it. Oops, glue. Right, so this needs to go this way. So and then we've got our so this is granny apple green as well. And then let's just see. Mm -hmm. Just got a few scraps in here. Okay, I've got these little um, half uh, hexagons, but I'm just going to cut them into some. Tiny triangles. Let's just bring this in and we've got these little, um, what do you call them, chevron-y type things. Uh, just trying to find out. There they are. Okay. And so using our basic grey. that's that's looking as I want it to so let's glue this down okay and then we'll pop this over the top of it all Okay. 
out and then we'll just glue some of our random pieces down. And I think there's one more thing that we could probably do on this. Let's do a bit of spritzing. Uh, so just grab my black marker. There we go. Okay, clear some space. And then we've got, so this is my black stamp and white marker. And we've got the um, brush tip, and I'm just going to add a lid. So I'm going to hold it quite far away from my piece and just, there we go. That's it. And then we'll just trim these pieces at the back. Alrighty. Let's bring back in our pieces. So we've got our inside piece here so I'm just going to repeat the stamping inside green hexagon down here just for good measure yep. yep okay so now we just assemble oops mm -hmm. I've done it on the wrong piece. Mm. Okay, so let me fix that just one second. Just grab a piece of granny apple green just one sec. That was a rookie mistake, but we can fix it. So what I'm going to do is just make this, let's just trim this down. Disaster averted. I really like this. Again, this is a really cool, funky, masculine card. Make sure I've got my base the right way around. Well, and I'm just oh, what am I doing? Okay, so let's see if I can fix this one. I did a portrait inside, even though my card is landscape. So let's see if I can 
do this. Okay. Add a black one to cover up the gap. And no one would ever know. Except you guys. Right, let's pop that inside. See what I should have done was use this layer for the front. And the other layer for the inside. But that's all right. So there we go. Card number three. How are we doing for time? I think we've got time for one more. So I've got a bit of a technique for this next one. Um, so let's just clear myself a bit of space. I'm gathering lots of little scrappy bits. Um, okay. So. I'm going to do some sponging and heat embossing. This is the Joseph's, Joseph's coat technique. So uh, I'm going to grab some, uh, uh, some coastal cabana and some Pacific Point. Uh, we'll have some Daffodil Delight. And da -da 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 -da, what else would work? Uh, let's do some Bermuda Bay. That always looks nice. Okay, so we've got... This is always a great colour combination, so I might actually stick with these three, thinking about what I have in mind. Uh, and then let's just grab a brush. A Bermuda brush. A greeny, gluey one. Yeah. Still with me, ladies. I think there's quite a bit of lag on the uh, on the comments, so let me know if you're still here. Okay. So what we're going to do is just cover this piece of white cardstock. I'm just going to ink it up. Okay. And it's going to look a bit of a mess to begin with, but don't worry too much about that. Um, the important thing here is that I don't want my stuff to be too... I want it to be... What, what am I trying to say? I only want small bits of colour. Um, and you'll see why in a minute. What I mean is I don't want any big patch of any one colour. Okay, let's go back in with the Bermuda Bay. So I want the colours to be quite intense. I really lay them on. And as you see, I'm not worrying too much about blending them. That's not important right now. Although I have just put Bermuda Bay onto my Coastal Cabana ink pad. So I need to get that off. Okay, so I think we need more blue. You can see I'm just adding lots and lots of ink on here. Okay. Okay, so 
think that should do us for now. Let's just close this up a bit. And let that ink dry up because I'm going to do some stamping on top of here in Versamark. Okay, so just put right. inks to one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back in the Hello Beautiful um, stamp set. And we're just going to grab some of these random squiggly shapes. Okay. I want... The splodgy looking ones. Okay, they should do it. So let's just pop those on some blocks. Now we could use the bigger pieces, we could use these bigger ones as well if we wanted, but I want to keep the pattern quite small. I'm going to stamp it quite a lot. Okay. And then let's get my embossing stuff, which is here. And use my embossing buddy. This is really important, okay? So because this ink is quite there's quite a lot of ink on here, so we need to use the embossing buddy to really get rid of any dampness or static otherwise my embossing powder will just stick to everything and I don't want that okay so let's start with our big pattern so this may be a bit tricky um, for you to see but I can tell where I've stamped these bits. So if I hold it up to the light, I can see where the ink is wet. Okay. What I'm trying to do with these is, where possible, is to lay my uh, stamping down so that it, it gets a range of the colours in each bit, if that makes sense. Okay. And then... I like that. I'm just keep picking it up so I can see where I've already stamped and where I've got gaps. Okay, and then we've got our little tiny piece and that should fill in some of our smaller gaps. I'm trying to make sure that I don't have any large gaps anywhere because I want to capture as much of the colour as I can. It will all become clear in a moment. Well, I've got a couple of steps to do first. Anyone who knows the Joseph's Coat Technique knows where I'm going with this. But for those of you who don't, it's just a bit of a magical mystery tour. Okay, so there we go. I think that should do. So then I'm bringing in my clear embossing powder. And I'm just going to cover my piece. Okay, so I'm just going to get it all over. And obviously I've stamped all over. Okay, so you can see the pattern emerging there. Now I've got a bit of a funny bit here. So I'm just going to grab a few of the little paintbrush here so you can see I've got a funny bit here where I've overstamped. So I'm just going to pull 
Oop. Even that out a little bit. So we've got a, a gap between the images. Yep. So the actual shape is not so important. I just want to make sure that there's gaps between them. Okay, so can you see the see the pattern there? So now let's put my embossing powder away. The other week you didn't see it, but I was very lazy and didn't put my embossing powder away and ended up just spilling it everywhere. And it got mixed up in all my paper scraps and everything, so I had to just get rid of it, which was less than ideal. Okay, I'm just warming up my heat tool now, and we're just going to emboss that. There we go. So, as we do it, the powder actually disappears a little bit, just becomes clear and glossy. I mean, this background as it is, is really quite nice. But stop there if you wanted. But I've been meaning to show you this technique for a little while, so. And this stamp set is great for this, because I say, it just creates that, easy to create those random backgrounds, which is cool. Okay, there we go. Leave that for one second. Bring back in my scrap paper because I am going to need that. So whilst I just let that cool for a moment, I'm just going to make a bit of space. So next thing I'm going to bring in is my um, ink pad. So I'm going to bring in my stays on because I want black. And I will need... No, I don't want stays on. Forgive me. I want a memento. Yes, I need some tissue for this. Okie dokie. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black ink pad and I'm just going to rub it across my paper. And you can see what happens is that where my embossing is resists so it's basically emboss resist but everywhere else i can just make black so it's a great way to get that effect of colored embossing on a black background but you get the added benefit of the sponged effect okay so just the main thing is just try and get in around all the edges of your images okay so that's that and then we lightly just buff it away so obviously some of it will just be sitting on top of where we've embossed go okay and there you have super background effect isn't that cool all right so now let's make this into a card so i've got a coastal cabana base basic black layer and I think I want, uh, let's see, I think I probably want a pool party. Let's move back along. I want a pool party. No, I should use Coastal Cabana layer. So just let me cut that down quickly. Mm -hmm. 
down a little more. Where'd I put it? And then we'll do a happy birthday again. We've got our strip of coastal cabana and I'm going to ink that up in stays on but I'm going, I'm going to move back to my stays on for my black inking because I want it really really intense my hexagons but let's assemble this now because it's got quite a few layers so I'm just going to glue each layer be careful when, hand when handling this piece because it's still a little bit inky so if you were doing this and using um, white or a light color um, be careful of fingerprints Just going to pop this up. So I'm going to use our large ones. Let me get it off. Go on, and I think we might add a few of the. fine without the added green ones so there we go Joseph's coat technique so that's using the again the hello beautiful stamp set I think you ladies are going to see a lot of that over the coming months so there we go let me just bring back in our cards because now it's time to vote so we have card number one two, three, or four. If I do it this way, can you see them all? One, two. I'm going to do it that way, even though they're not in order. So 
So one, two, three, or four. What do you think? So whilst we're doing that, let me just tell you that. Uh, mm, now where's my calendar? One second. So I will be having my open house on the Saturday, the Saturday, the 8th of January, I should be having my open house um so that's the usual uh should, or rather than open house should i say my live catalog launch party so that's the usual deal with crafting all day long bingo and all sorts of stuff um so i should be back then because obviously it's christmas now so i won't be here next week um so i hope you all have a wonderful christmas um and that you get to spend it wherever you wish to spend it um and uh i look forward to catching up with you all in the new year cheerio bye <laughs>